landscape now. Well, I guess what I see is that history repeats itself. Yeah. What we're seeing now is the tension between truth-telling and the effort to stop it. From the Sundance Kid to the directorial genius behind acclaimed films, Robert Redford's career is a tapestry woven with charisma, talent, and a commitment to storytelling. Join us on a visual journey through the golden era of Hollywood, exploring the highs, the masterpieces, and the surprising net worth that accompanies Redford's enduring legacy. Charles Robert Redford Jr., born on August 18, 1936, is an American actor and filmmaker. He's received numerous accolades, such as an Academy Award, a BAFTA Award, and two Golden Globe Awards, as well as the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2016 and the Honorary Caesar in 2019. You know, I can't do this forever. I've been doing it since I was 21. As you move into your 80s, you say, hey, that's enough. That's enough. It's hard for me to hear that when you say <laughs> it. It's hard for me to life. say it. Now let's talk about his interests and how he spends his money. He has an expensive collection of contemporary Native American art. He's an environmental conservationist and often advocates and supports natural causes. He speaks Spanish fairly well, having lived in the south of Spain during the 50s. He has a passion for fly fishing, painting, and environmentalism. His favorite food is lobster bits. He's an avid reader. His favorite sport is baseball. Love scene on the screen, we'd go, oh, boo, you tell him, lover, <laughs> you know, and make fun of the scene. Selling the idea that I would be that guy <laughs> is just too much for me to take. <laughs> Let's see how he's getting on with his friends and family. On August 9, 1958, in Las Vegas, Nevada, Redford married Lola Van Wagenen, who dropped out of college to marry him. They had four children, Scott Anthony Redford, Shauna Jean Redford, David James Redford, and Amy Hart Redford. They divorced in 1985. In July 2009, Redford got married to his longtime partner, Sibylle Zagers, in Hamburg, Germany. Redford has seven grandchildren. His parents were Martha Hart and Charles Robert Redford Sr., an accountant. He has a stepbrother from his father's first marriage. He's friends with Paul Newman, Robert Young, who was a star at MGM in the 1930s and starred in the TV series Father Knows Best, and Marcus Welby, MD, was a cousin of his mother. And the title of it was The Case of the Torture to Pay. <laughs> I had no idea what that meant, <laughs> but it was my first job as an actor. <laughs> and then it went uphill from there. With that being said, let's discuss how he earns money. He's primarily accumulated his net worth from film, TV, theater, and brand endorsement deals. He's also earned money as an author. In 1976, Robert Redford published The Outlaw Trail, A Journey Through Time. In 1962, Robert was seen in War Hunt, and he was paid $500,000 for appearing in this film. In 1973, Robert starred in The Sting and earned $500,000 from this film. His salary increased during the 1970s, and he earned $2 million from the film titled A Bridge Too Far, which was released in 1977. In 2011, his salary from The Last Castle was $11 million, Robert Redford's the co-owner of Wildwood Enterprises Incorporated with Bill Holderman, producer with the following film credits, Lions for Lambs, Quiz Show, A River Runs Through It, Ordinary People, The Horse Whisperer, The Legend of Bagger Vance, Slums of Beverly Hills, The Motorcycle Diaries, and The Conspirator. He has a net worth of $200 million. But the robberies, or was it the escapes? The escapes. Yeah? Yeah, because that's what he enjoyed most. To me, that's a great story to tell. Now let's get ready to take a virtual tour of his ultra-luxurious mansions. The retired actor had a house in Sundance in Utah. Made up of seven structures, the property includes a 1,460-square-foot farmhouse with two bedrooms, a 2,000 square foot wood shop, a 3,200 square foot garden hobby house, a boat garage, 
a hay barn, covered horse stalls, a horse training ring, and endless pastures. Even after selling the Sundance Resort in 2020, Robert's family continues to own an 1,800 acre property in the area. They also own a 30 acre property roughly 30 minutes outside of Sundance called the Horse Whisperer Ranch, a reference to his 1998 movie, The Horse Whisperer. Robert bought the property in 1996. He listed it for sale in June 2021 for $4.6 million. Outside of Utah, Robert Redford owns or has owned property in Santa Fe, New Mexico, and in various parts of California. In May 2001, Robert sold an oceanfront property in Malibu for $6 million. At the same time, he sold an adjacent empty lot to a different buyer for $3 million. Well, I think you can say there were things that were unspoken and spoken. And the unspoken, I think, carried a certain weight to it. That's all I'll say. Here are the cars you'll find in his garage. A Porsche 904 GTS. A Porsche 911 Cabriolet. a Mercedes-Benz 380K Cabriolet, a 1965 Ford Mustang, a 1968 Chevy Camaro. So natural, it just fell into place. And so that, I think that, Jane can speak for herself, but I think from my standpoint, it created a, a, a very natural rhythm. That's all for today's video, and thanks for watching it. But don't stop here. There's more where that came from. Check out our other videos for more great content.